History of the Vocal Masterclass brought to you by the beautiful, talented Elena and yours truly. Um, for those of you that don't know me, my name is Julissa Ramirez and I'm a senior in the vocal department. And just a quick few facts about me. I hope to go to college or I plan to go to college to study music education and I've been singing and music has been a part of my life for a very long time. But um, don't worry if this is your first time singing or if this is your first exposure to music or whether you've had 10 years of experience or two years of experience, don't worry because um, I fundamentally and passionately believe that music is a part of the human experience, that everybody connects to music in a different way, whether you're just a listener or a singer or a musician or a dancer or a mathematician or a scientist. I believe that we all have um, our unique ways that we connect to music. So yeah, welcome, and I hope you guys enjoy this masterclass that Elena and I have put together for you. It has a lot of our favorite warm-ups, so that's what the bulk of it will be, and um, some solfege, and then some tips on vocal health so that you can keep your voice healthy, and you can keep singing and making beautiful music. So yeah, thanks guys, and I hope you enjoy the video. Hello! So the wonderful Jalissa just gave you a rundown of what we're going to be doing today. Just before we begin, a quick little introduction. My name is Elena Oliveira. I am a rising junior in the vocal department. Like Jalissa, I am in student council. I'm really passionate about music and I'm excited to bring this masterclass to you. So whether you're someone who sings a little, medium, a lot, maybe haven't practiced in a while, I hope this class is a nice break from lying on your bed on your phone or doing schoolwork and I hope you enjoy. So we're going to start with warmups. So for most of this video, Julissa and I are going to be sitting down because it's easier for us with the piano, but for you all watching at home, the best idea is to stand up. So we're just going to warm up our bodies together and go over posture real quick. So first of all, just shake out your hands, your arms, legs, anything else just to loosen up. Next, you're going to roll your neck first side to side. Don't really roll it back. It's not the end of the world if you do. Roll it to one side and the other side but it's just not the best because it's a little more tension in your neck. Okay, so next we're going to move our shoulders, right shoulder, left shoulder, right shoulder, left shoulder, then move them back and forth. All right, so um, posture. Basically, um, for your legs, it's not best to have them really close together or all spread apart or in some weird position or like balanced on one hip, you can do it of course, but in terms of just the ideal posture, having your your legs um, kind of to where your shoulders are width apart is best. Um, not to have like really slouched because remember your body is your instrument, so it's really a good idea to maximize it in the best possible way. So you want to have an open chest, so kind of put your shoulders back. This is your sternum and you kind of want it lifted. Imagine a string is pulling you up and you just want that good elevated feeling. In terms of hands, it's just kind of best at your side. If you want to be really specific, you can have them kind of where the lines of your pants are, but most of the time we're not singing like this anyways. Um, and in terms of your head, you don't want it strained too forward or like that because this is really important to keep your throat nice and relaxed just facing forward as you sing. So next we're going to warm up our articulators, which is basically tongues, teeth, lips, and our palate. Which, in case you were wondering, because I was always confused for a while, um, it's not a makeup palate, it's basically the roof of your mouth, which you can feel closer to your teeth is hard, that's your hard palate, and towards the back of your mouth, it's soft, so that's your soft palate. So we're going to start by doing some consonants. I want you to put your hand kind of on your waist um, so that part of your hands on your stomach and you can also feel the sides of your body because that way you can hear feel the breath moving so repeat after me a little bit and we're going to talk about breathing. You might ask, what about the singing? Well, we're going to talk about breathing first because it's the foundation and it's something that singers are always working on like for years and years and years and years. Um, so 
just a little breathing experiment. Put your hand on your chest and inhale like something just surprised you or scared you. So you probably had a loud breath, your chest rose, your shoulders rose, and that's the kind of breathing we don't want because it's tense, it could be breathy, and it's not good for your vocal health. We want to try to breathe from down low, utilizing the whole rest of our system because it's not just our lungs. We also have our diaphragm, which if anyone ever told you to use your diaphragm, that's not technically correct because it's an involuntary muscle. So it's not something you can like force out, but it is part of the whole breathing system, um, which also has the muscles like the obliques and our intercostal muscles. So as another experiment, put your hand kind of on your like belly button, that's where your diaphragm is, this area, and basically just inhale and exhale through your mouth just very gently, just to kind of feel that movement down low. It's not quite singing breathing, but just feel the movement. So you should have kind of felt, um, felt it like rising and falling. So now we're gonna get to the actual exercise, which is called Farinelli. It's a really common vocal exercise. And basically it has three steps. Inhale, suspend, which doesn't mean clench or hold your breath, but technically you're not inhaling or exhaling. You're just keeping the air in place. And then exhale is the third step. When you exhale, you don't want to go from to like collapsing because that's too extreme of a movement. You wanna think of more pushing your air out, or not pushing, but letting your air flow out and um, not like collapsing entirely. So it's gonna have four counts of inhale, four counts of suspense, four counts of exhale, and then we increase um, to four counts of inhale, four counts of suspension, eight counts of exhale, and basically the amount that you're exhaling your breath gets longer and longer. Don't worry if you can't do it a lot at first, you'll get better over time. And we're just warming up for today. So hands um, on your diaphragm and your intercostals and breathe in, two, three, four, suspend, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four. Inhale, two, three, four. Suspend, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Inhale, two, three, four. Suspend, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. We're gonna do one more. This comes pretty challenging, so let's see if you can do it. Inhale, two, three, get a good breath. Suspend, two, three, four. Now exhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So next we're going to do lip trills, which I always start off with because it's basically just a great way to warm up without like actually using your voice too much, but like really get that breath flowing. So basically it's just that sound. It looks silly, but it's effective. Um, if you can't do that, you can just do this exercise on and if you can't do either, basically um, it's just like pushing out air but with your lips close together so that it trills. So the exercise we're going to do it on is and make sure to slide up to that note. Five, six, seven, eight. Good job. Now I'm going to pass it over to Jalissa and we'll continue warming up.
So the first warm up we're gonna do together is gonna build off what you just did with Elena. So you with Elena just did a lip trill, a slide. Just really lazy slides. So now we're gonna break that down and sing the individual notes that are kind of slipped in, in that slide, right? So it's gonna sound like this. And we're gonna hum those five notes like this. So a lot of you, when I say hum, probably think a closed mouth hum. And that's okay too. But um, I personally prefer to do an open mouth hum so that I can practice with that space that's so necessary and important when you're singing. So yeah, we're going to start here and then we're going to go up by half step each time and I'll go ahead and sing with you and you can join me now. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and get started. Our next warm-up that you can do is um, a favorite in the vocal department and the words are what a fine day today and we're gonna sing an arpeggio which will sound like this and it sounds with the words like this what a fine day today. okay everyone try with me ready one two three four what a fine day today. so now we're gonna go up a half step department and the words are zinga mama zinga mama zinga mama zinga mama zing 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 and um, those z are super important because they're gonna kind of activate your core and the ab muscles that you need to use when singing so like if you try with me z, you kind of feel this tighten automatically because um, you're using your core to produce that so it sounds like this zinga mama zinga mama zinga mama zinga mama This one, unlike the other ones that we've done, don't go up, but they go down. So this will help um, the guys out there who are doing these warm-ups. We're going to go down instead of up, so you can work your lower range. And girls, too, you can work your lower range. Um, all right, so let's start here, and we'll do it together. One, two, three, four. Sing a mama, sing a mama, sing a mama, sing a mama, sing, 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 sing. challenge but don't worry I think with some listening and some practicing you'll be able to sing it perfectly and it'll sound beautiful um, so it sounds like this warming up our voices ready set let's go so it's a five note 
note scale up. And then another one. And then an eight note scale on E. With an added note on which you switch to O and then all the way back down. Let's try it together. Ready? One, two, three, four. Warming up our voices. Ready, set, let's go. Eight note scale. to think about in this warm-up is the image of a wave right so on we're going up on that eight note scale on the way up I want you to think of a wave that's gaining momentum right we start out really small and then it gets bigger bigger until it crests and it has that beautiful image of just a wave cresting and you have the surfer on a surfboard just riding that wave right so we want to do that on the ninth note so crest, ninth note, ride it, and then come back down, right? So try to think of that imagery because what it's going to do is going to help you build a phrase, which is like a musical sentence. It's going to have a beginning, a middle, which is a crest, and then a way back down, right? So let's just think about that as we sing this exercise, and we'll do it together one last time on this key. Um, one, two, three, four. How did that feel? Good, I'm glad. All right, let's try it again. Warming up our voices, ready, set, let's go. E With a half step. Warming up our voices, ready, set, let's go. which basically, if you watch The Sound of Music, is that song, Do, Re, Mi, Do, a tear, a female tear, and so on. Um, we're going to go over the hand signs and the names of the notes for a major scale. We have Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So, La, Ti, Do. So let's sing that together using your hand signs. Do, Re, solfege system we'll be learning is movable dough. There's also fixed dough, but this is what we're going to be learning today. Um, basically, do is the key signature. If you don't know what key signatures are, that's a different music theory thing to get into and look up. But basically, um, it means that no matter what key you're in, it could be anything. Do is that first note. That's your foundation. And in any key, the intervals are going to be the same. So say we're in C major. Do, Mi would be Do, Mi. And that's in C major. But say we were in F major. Do, Mi. It's still the same interval. It's a different key, but when you know the distances between the notes, you can sight read easier. Now, when you look at it on a piece of paper and you identify the key signature first, then um, if it's major, you'll know that when you see Do, as long as you have that starting pitch, you can basically go to any interval. So say you see a C and then you see a G. Now, if you know from solfege, that's five notes up. One, two, three, four, five. Do to So. And what's Do to So? Well, that interval would be do, 
And there's also actual names for these intervals, which we're going to learn in a second with an exercise that we do. To get to the solfege, we're going to do this exercise. Do, re, major, second, do, mi, major, third, do, fa, perfect, fourth, do, so, perfect, fifth, do, la, major, sixth, do, ti, major, seventh, do, do, octave. Now you try on your own. I'll keep the words up on the screen. solfege game. Basically, you're going to sing the major scale, do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do, ti, la, so, fa, mi, re, do. Except, now you're going to leave one note out. And that note for this example is going to be mi. So sing everything else except mi. If you sing mi, you lose. Now I'm going to play it on the piano, but don't let that trip you up. Don't sing it. So we're going to do the first one together, and then you'll try on your own. And you can use hand signs if you want. Do, re, fa, sol, la, ti, do, ti, How that works and you're gonna try on your own. out fa don't sing fa So that's it from me today. I really hope you enjoyed getting to warm up and you learned something from Jalissa and I. And now she's gonna give you some tips before we leave. All right guys, so that is the masterclass that we have planned for you today. I hope that you learned something new and had fun or um, just enjoyed seeing other people's faces besides your family at home. I know that that can kind of get monotonous. But um, anyway, before we leave you and send you off with all this beautiful new vocal and music knowledge, we want to make sure to give you three tips to keep your voice healthy and your body healthy so that you can keep singing and making beautiful music. So my first tip is water. Please, please, please hydrate before you sing, after you sing. Good stuff. While you sing even, it's so, so important that your muscles in your that make up your voice, so your vocal folds, get water so that they are hydrated and ready to move and ready to kind of stretch a little bit and ready to work. And how do you do that? You make them hydrated and you drink a lot of water. So make sure that you're drinking water and hydrating yourself. My second tip is to always, always, always warm up. And it can be so hard and kind of not, you may not be motivated to warm up because you want to dive into the piece that you're about to sing. But like any muscle, it's important to warm up the warm up your vocal folds so that they wake up and they know that you're about to work out with them. Um, otherwise, they just kind of are like in shock when you start singing and they haven't had time to wake up, right? So the warm ups that Elaine and I did are all perfect, beautiful examples of things that you can do before you start diving into strenuous work with your singing. So make sure that you warm up and wake up those muscles. And finally. I advise you that if it hurts, stop. When you're singing, it shouldn't hurt, right? That's not a sensation that you should feel. So um, if it's if something does hurt in here, that's your voice telling you, hey, I don't like how this feels, let's not do this anymore. So if your voice hurts, take a break, swallow, drink some water, walk around the house, read a book, and then come back with a relaxed mind, a rested body, and a rested voice, and try it again. 
Um, but yeah, just pay attention to how your body feels and if it hurts, stop. So those are my three big tips, water, warm up, and if it hurts, stop. All right, guys, thank you so much for coming out. We really, really appreciate it. And like I said earlier, we hope that you learned something new and I can't wait to hear you guys sing. Um, so yeah, have fun everyone. Bye. Bye.